Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the uh, Danny Mercado channel today where I will be doing my England 2 Germany 0 review from last night. What a game it was. I mean, I've supported England for, let me think, I would say I'd supported England 18 years of my life and that has to be up there with one of the best, most exciting, proud England games I've ever seen, most proud I've been in watching England, I mean, that was a phenomenal effort to beat a top, Ger a good side Germany, to beat a top German side like that, and to beat them convincingly like we did, in the manner we did, was absolutely phenomenal, now, I do believe it's a top side, I know Germany aren't the same as what they used to be, but they've got some good players in their team, and we're going to look at that for now when we look at the lineups. so Gareth Southgate um, got a lot of criticism for his lineup before the match, I knew what he was doing and it definitely worked a trick. I think then people who were criticising the lineup need to, to have a look at themselves. Um, he obviously went with the three centre-backs, the two wing-backs, the two centre midfielders and the three up top. So I'm going to go through that now. In goal we had Jordan Pickford. The centre-backs were Carlock on the right, John Stones in the centre, Maguire on the left. Trippier and Shaw, the two uh, the win full-backs. Obviously Trippier on the right, Shaw on the left. Um, Phillips and Rice... Um, in that centre midfield, brilliant partnership, I must say. The um, front three of Bakayo Saka on the right, I've got on my um, my tablet, but I, I think I think he was on the left, I'm not sure. Um, Raheem Sterling on the other one and Harry Kane up top. The Germans lined up with a 3-5-3 three, three formation, um, of 3-5-2-1. So you had Mambo Neuer in goal, the three centre-backs were Rukia, Hummels, Ginter. The ageing Hummels, and you could tell that in this game. Um, the midfield was... Uh, Kimmich on the right, again, I don't know if they've gone with full-backs as well, uh, win-backs as well, they may have. Um, Goosen's on the left, not too sure who he is. Goretzka, Cruz, Muller and Havertz and Werner up top, but the only, there was only one going in this game, and that was England. Was, um, we were phenomenal. Um, I was in the pub for the game. Um, it was very, very atmospheric. Um, you know, the pub was bouncing. I can only remember what I saw. There was a lot of people there. When we scored, it went crazy. Um, I was kind of in it all. Um, but what I do remember is, is that the two goals we scored were phenomenal. Um, we started off the game slow. I thought Germany were the most dangerous team first half. They obviously, um, I forgot who it was, was it Werner forced Pickford into a brilliant save, which he had to get down and save before half time. Sterling um, tested Neuer. Um, good push save from him. But England never really got going first half. I always felt Germany had more of a game. Um, and I was very concerned going in nil-nil at half time. Um, you know, we could we could we could lose this game, but that wasn't to be because second half we came out with a much different team. Um, Southgate's obviously said something at half time, and it's definitely worked because second half we've come out and we've got two well taken goals. We come out the most dangerous team straight away. What I remember from the first goal um, from Sterling, it's a lovely pass and move. Sterling's on the end of it, taps it in the net, and it's the same with Kane's goal. It's a lovely lovely build up play. And it's um it's tapped in, and the second half we were just so much different. We're a much better team. Uh, you look at the stats here that I've got in front of me. Um, we had five shots during. We had nine, so they did have more. We had forty five percent of the possession. I had fifty five, but it doesn't matter because we took our chances. Obviously, um, there's a few other things I'm going to point out in the second half which impressed me. Um, Pickford made a phenomenal save, which he pushed over the bar. That was a world class save from me. Um, that was a big moment in the game. Um, Muller, Thomas Muller ran through at the end and was had a one-on-one -on -one with Pickford and he put it, I think he put it wide how he did not score that I'd have never known I'd have put my house on him scoring that but it doesn't matter, we're going to win and it's a tactical masterclass from Gareth Southgate got a lot of stick for his, um, for his line-up before the match yesterday but he got it spot on you have to go what, what he done was, was he did go defensive in his team but that was to frustrate Germany which is what happened we got our two chances and we took them absolute masterclass from Gareth Southgate fair play to him and I believe after that performance he's put his name out there it was a top class managerial performance and a lot of teams are going to fear playing England now I tell you now um, we, we have an easy run to the final now I will say easy but we've got a good run we, we play Ukraine in the quarters the semi-finals I think we get Denmark or I don't know the other team is it Czech Republic obviously in the final we could get Italy or Belgium but it's you know we could go all the way be amazing if we did. Um, Stand-up performance for me last night. Pickford made some phenomenal saves. I thought the whole team was brilliant. I'm going to 
pick out my main two standout performers down low, Pickford, who I've said there, and I thought Declan Rice, my man of the match, absolutely phenomenal. He got in the way of everything, um, absolutely everything. He put his heart on the line and everything, and it's just unbelievable. Um, sorry, I'm just getting distracted there by a message that doesn't matter to me. Um, but there was a obviously Jeremy had a free kick in the dangerous area in the first half, and Declan Rice blocked it straight away. Billy Brock, he was just there, he was there all night, and he controlled that whole midfield. Other standout performers, um, obviously, that I bid our main two there. Um, two seconds, guys. I hate being distracted when I make videos. Just deal with that. But yeah, what a brilliant performance from um, from England last night. I mean, Trippier came in, done a, done a good job, uh, uh, win back. I called before the match, Trippier should start this game. He's got that experience. You're looking at a player here who's just won the league with Atletico Madrid in Spain. A better option, um, a better option than than the previous players who's been playing. But he came and done a job. Carl Walker I thought was phenomenal in um, that right centre back role. Stones and Maguire looked solid all night. Shaw had a, a solid game at left back. Phillips and Rice, what a duo that is. Calvin Phillips had another good game. He did get a yellow card, but that duo was amazing. And the front three done business. Obviously, Sacco got subbed off. Grealish came on. I thought he changed the game. So he got two goals when he came on. Sterling got another goal. Keynes off the mark now so the fans can get off his back but what a win from England come on lads let's hope we beat Ukraine and just another thing before I uh, wrap this video up um, I believe there was a German girl shown on TV crying a very young girl if any England fans laughing at that don't it's a disgrace have a look at yourselves thanks for watching come on England see you later